Game of the season, the Myrtle Beach Bowl, App State versus Akron. Can we go 13-1? 12-1? Can we go 13-1? Can we end up beating App State, who is a great team? They are a freaking fantastic team. The game is also in Carolina, which works against us. But let's see how this game ends up going. App State, Akron, coming at you. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. So Appalachian State's offense takes the field for the first time today. When this guy comes onto the field, David, he seems to bring the it factor with him. So much fun as a play caller to have a guy you depend on, you trust. You know, Palmer, you're going to get the best out of this young man. He's also one of those guys, David, who just elevates everybody else around him, right? All 10 guys in that huddle offensively just seem to play better knowing they've got confidence in this guy. Still running at the 40. Nothing but green ahead. Running inside the 20. And he eluded the defense, and he'll take it all away. Touchdown, App State. Man, it's easy to call plays when I got guys like this who can take the ball and rip it 70-plus to the house. How about the speed? He showed you a little bit of wiggle. This dude's got it all. Nice touchdown run by the running back. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So Akron's offense has its first opportunity of the day. Looking for a productive play on first down. Out of the gun, the running back has it. Got enough for the first. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Lining up from the 34 on first down. They'll give it to him again. Powers through the defender. I get it that the game is the primary thing about going to a bowl, but there's so many festivities surrounding it. Jesse, what do you remember about something you experienced? There was a lot of pageantry when I think back to the bowl games I played in, and you have functions, you get to visit a brand new city, generally in warm weather, you get to meet the other team, there's some friendly competition. The biggest thing that stands out to me, though, was a street brawl against the Miami Hurricanes. Bourbon Street getting ready for the Sugar Bowl, about 120 feet. Hard to forget that. In his sophomore season, he's really learned to find that running room. And the Zips will line it up on first and ten. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. Touch pass on the run. Tackled after picking up the first down. Just went with something very easy, very reliable. Flip it forward, let your receiver do the rest. Now we got to get a few yards. Nice job, nice execution. First down. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. Got the back over the middle. Man, this guy's going to need some water when he gets to the sidelines. They've been putting him to work on this drive, right? You've seen him tote the rock with success. Now you're seeing him get involved in the passing game, too. They are highlighting his versatility here on this drive. Makes the grab. It's golden. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. They'll try to run for it. They get him on the ground after he gets enough to move the sticks. This offense has really gotten to a nice rhythm here on their opening drive of the game. Running the ball, getting it down now into a goal-to-go situation. They really have established a bit of a physicality here early. Let's see if they can keep that up. Guys, it's Appalachian State holding the lead at the end of the quarter. And after that first quarter, let's see if these guys can get back in the game in the second. Play number 10 on this series. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. He's tackled down at the three-yard line. They keep pushing forward down to the three, but now it's third and goal. Trying to barge in. And he'll 
find the end zone. Touchdown, Zip! That drive was what every father wants his daughter's romances to be like. Slow, take your time, train the clock, no hurry at all. Sometimes love is a slow burn. And that's what we just saw in that last drive. I am so impressed with the execution, and I love their ability to run the football. These players, they're coached up. They're coming out here, and they are executing exactly how their coaches prepared them to do in this game. Trying to move them on the counter. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. To the air, it's Aguilar. Fires to the big fella. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. A completion, but not quite enough for the first down. Third down coming for this offense. He'll try to get it through the air. Gets open down the middle. Breaks the tackle, and he's got room. Oh, look out. He's got the sidelines going nuts as he gets it down to the 18-yard line. The Mountaineers will hustle through the line. Love the individual effort by the wide receiver after the catch, making people miss, showing you the speed. Now he set up his offense down in the red zone. From the red zone, looking for a space. He's got it on the move. And an absolutely fearless tackle, giving up size, still got him on the turf. Well, guys, bowl season is here. Always fun to get these non-traditional matchups that you don't see regularly. What do you guys remember about playing in a bowl? I think you remember all the moments throughout the season, throughout your career, and it's the last time that you ever get these group of individuals together. You say goodbye to so many people, and, it, and it's kind of bittersweet, but always fun, Jesse, um, to, do, uh, to dance with your boys. Touchdown, Appalachian State! And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. Yeah, these guys are just on the same page. They rep this play in practice over and over and over for this exact type of situation. QB, there was no question where he was going with that football in that play. He'll call for the fair catch here. Akron has it back, ready to send that offense back onto the field. Really good balance on that last drive. They mixed it up all over the place, Jesse. Yeah, and how nice, too, to have the defense on their heels because at this point, they don't know what's coming at them. They had problems stopping everything that last drive. So I think this defense would come back with a little more aggressiveness. I mean, they let them have what they wanted. Now they got to dictate to this offense a little bit more. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. Stopped at the 43 after the 15-yard pickup. Now on first down from the 43-yard line. He wants to throw. And he was hit just as he was releasing the pass, and it falls to the ground incomplete. Let's see what they've got on second down. Back to throw, it's Finley. Fires to the tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. They're facing a third down. They keep attacking through the air. Catch in the middle, it's Williams. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. The Zips getting set on first and 10. Now the quarterback changing the original play call. He's gonna pass. Snagged in the middle, it's Golden. All the way down to the 25 yard line, they move the sticks in the first down. A new set of downs after the completion. Looking to go up top on first down. Pulls it in. It's Wilson. Still on his feet. He was smelling that end zone, but they get him down at the four after the big pass play. You gotta give the O-line a lot of credit there because it gave the receiver time to work all the way across the field on the drag route against zone coverage. Quarterback gets it to him. He's able to turn it up and get a first down.
with the run on first and goal. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Second and goal for the offense. Tries again to get it in. Going right back to the well, and this time he finds water. Gets it into the end zone for the touchdown. And he knocks the extra point through the uprights. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard punch. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. Appalachian State regains possession, and the Mountaineer offense headed to the field. Now, they're backed up here, Jesse. Wonder how aggressive they're willing to be. I think it's going to come down to how much confidence they have in this quarterback and his decision-making because you cannot throw an interception at this part of the field with this little time left. And I think that's conversations you've had with the young fellow on the sidelines. Be like, what are you comfortable with right here that we can run? Maybe stay aggressive, but make sure I don't make that mistake. Not a lot of room, but found his way ahead for two out to the 26. And the Mountaineers will line up to kick off and start the second half. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. The Zips take over and after and ready to get that offense to work. We are locked up to start the second half. And guys, you know what? In a bowl, sometimes that intensity really builds in a tight game like this. I think that's why we were really anticipating this game so much. Two very evenly matched teams with a lot of playmakers. We knew this thing could go either way. So for this offense right here, this drive, to start off the second half, David, they need to put something together and really put pressure on the opponent. And the thing I like about bowl games, oh, what a move to get room. He's off to the races. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Akron. And with that one, they jump on top here in the second half. That was a lightning fast drive that ends with a touchdown. Yeah, you can string a few more drives like that together. Man, we might as well get our popcorn out because we're going to get a lot of score. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Appalachian State offense returns to the field. Line gets set, first down. They'll run the RPO and throw it right. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. This offense set up with a second and short. They go to the ground. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Personal foul. Personal foul. Face face man. Defense. Defense. I'm not sure he knew he had the face mask there, tried to let it go in time, but couldn't. It's a penalty on the defense. He'll try to pop the draw. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still, just a very short game. The Mountaineers in the hurry up. To the air, it's Aguilar. Throws to the wideout. Complete to the left. Oh, my goodness, he's still moving. Touchdown, App State. And once he got loose, it was all over. Man, what a nice ball. You can see he sees him running the corner route, lays it out in front, catches the ball, and nice job catching the ball. And then doing what? Getting upfield, not running out of bounds, not getting pushed out, not getting tackled. Nice job after the catch, getting vertical, getting to the end zone. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Akron has it back, ready to send that offense back onto the field. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. These little gains can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator to pick up bunch of yards on first down make that second down really really manageable that's a great job by the offense and the zip get enough for the first down here's this offense with a fresh set of downs to the ground with the back 
That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Softened him up with the run, and now to throw. Got his man downfield. And after gobbling up some serious yardage and showing off those wheels, he's finally out of bounds. The Zips are moving quickly down the field. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. Not much room. He gets one down to the seven. And a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? Touchdown, Zips! And they take it in for six more points. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. 28, From inside the 10, here he comes. Appalachian State regains possession, and the Mountaineer offense headed to the field. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Working that left side. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. Under a minute to go here in the third quarter. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play. And I love the job the receiver did. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback. And down he goes. The first down sack pushes the ball back for this long second down. To throw, it's Aguilar. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. A shot toward the end zone. Right through his hands. He had a touchdown and just didn't put the ball in. It'll be fourth down. And the Mountaineers send out the punt unit. Solid punt headed toward the sideline, trying to make it tough to return. Time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. Hand off from the gun. And as they get him to the ground, clock running, looks as if time will expire here in the third. At the end of the quarter, guys, it's Akron holding the lead. They've done the work to build a nice cushion now to bring it home as we check out the stats. Trying to buy a little time, and he cannot, but he does get it back closer to the line of scrimmage. The number one job is to protect their quarterback, and they did not. They did not, but my number one job as a defensive lineman is to attack your quarterback and get him on the ground just like this, get in the sack, rattle this guy as much as you can, as many hits as possible on these quarterbacks. Listen, I know this running back is shifty. I know he's really good in the open field, but that's just asking too much of him at this point. Third and long situation. He wasn't going to be able to make that extra guy miss uh, trying to get that first down. The give and the run on fourth down. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got to lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Looking for a man, it's Fenley. He wants to go deep. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. After the incompletion on second down, it's third and inches. They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. And the Zips pick up the first down. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps. And the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. From the gun to Gale, looking for room. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. How about this 
methodical, soul-crushing drive. They've already drained more than three minutes off the clock as they snap it on second down. Can anyone catch it? And he'll be run out of bounds, and these guys are piling up some serious yardage totals. The Zips have it with the first and ten. The give from the gun. Got some room, head to the goal line. And he's sprinting, he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Akron! And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. 35 at stake, 21. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Appalachian State offense returns to the field. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punt out. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. The best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Oh, man, the big fellas. They usually have the soft hands. Your, your security blanket is your tight end, but that one hit him in the hands, and he just, he just couldn't pull it in. They're bringing heat. Working that left side now. And he was knocked down immediately, short of the line to gain. They'll have to make a decision here. On fourth down, they'll run it, looking for the first. He is stopped short, and they'll turn it over on downs. Just a crushing blow at this point in the game. Well, this is just the type of field position this offense wants. He'll start it. Let's it fly deep downfield. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Zips. And the extra point splits the uprights, and they're up a full three touchdowns. A 21-point cushion in the fourth. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. On the move from inside is five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Appalachian State regains possession, and the Mountaineer offense headed to the field. Not a lot to feel great about in this one, Jesse, but I'm sure they'll try to seek out some positives. Well, this might be an opportunity to reach to go back when they watch this game and just find the plays and the schemes that were working. There weren't a lot, obviously, David, but maybe an opportunity for the coaching staff to condense the playbook a little bit. I was going to say, there's not a lot of good to go back to. That'd be a quick film session because there was more negatives than positives. But when you look at this, this week you've got a week to figure it out, figure out what your offense is going to be moving forward. Looking to throw at Aguilar. Right down the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he gets a big chunk of yardage to the 34-yard line. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. And the quarterback will be slung down back at the 43. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. First down sack pushes it back. Now it's second down. On second down, wants to throw it. Fires to the wide out. Catch in the middle, it's Horn. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. They've marched to the red zone, and here they go. He's got it on the run. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, Mountaineer! Man, he didn't just put it on his numbers. If he were throwing it at a front porch, he would have put that right in the keyhole. What a precise pass. Right in the keyhole, right on the button, right on the face mask, whatever it was. Great throw, great timing. Nice job by the quarterback. Looks as if the hands team will be able to recover the ball. Defense trying to keep this offense from getting a line on who to block. The Zips take over and after and ready to get that offense to work. They're in command of this game. Now let's see if they try to rub a little salt in the wound or happy with getting the W. Yeah, and listen, this, this makes the post-game handshake fun sometimes if you do. Got it inside the 10. They'll get him stopped just. 
Not short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. And with that one, he's now over three bills for the game. And there's two reasons why. And he'll take it in. Touchdown, Akron! These guys looking to put the finishing touches on this game with that score. I think you feel confident that ends it, right? Late in the game, it would take a miracle for the defense to get back in it. That miracle is no longer coming now. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The Appalachian State offense returns to the field. The deficit is large. Hope is fainting, but they'll try to finish strong. They made a lot of mistakes in this game, and that's why it looks like... And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. The Mountaineers want to move quickly. Quickly gets everyone set. They spike it to stop the clock. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking to pass. It's Aguilar. Unloads to the wideout. He's got an open man. And he gets the first down, but man, did he get the hit stick laid on his noggin. Quick snap and a spike to stop the clock. It leads to... And now on second down for this offense. Let's go. It'll be a draw. And the defense finally makes the stop after the sweet run and good game. And the Mountaineers have it with a first and ten. He spikes it, clock stops as they try to rally late. Second down coming up. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. He makes a catch. Makes a grab over the defense, and they are threatening now down at the 15. Well, this was an offensive showcase out there today. We thought it would be a high-scoring game, and it certainly delivered. If you love offense, then you love this type of game. Both offenses going up and down the field. Seemingly it will. Throwing the ball, running the ball. But, David, I feel like if you're a fan of defense, maybe this is what's your cup of tea. Ah, uh, more defense optional. <laughs> you didn't really get too much of that stuff. But, you know, listen, you got to get a few stops late in the game. you got to get one, actually, just kind of one stop with this many points that are being scored. you got the stop late. That's why you got the dub. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. All right, we got a huge win of all the people to help us get that win. It was our running back. We ended up winning 49-28. We only had one loss on the season. Ben Finley throwing touchdown after touchdown, 320 yards. You know, our 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 leading running back got 94 yards and four touchdowns. I, I can't believe that our offense just came alive. I, I did not expect this. You know, we had two receivers over 100 yards. Uh, defense stepped up, and we just kept demolishing App State. What an awesome game. Hey, great way to end this season. Now we get to see what this transfer portal looks like.